Hey guys, what's up? It's Saiyan4414 or Tony. How's everyone doing today? So, I have an interesting topic for today. And it kind of, it bugs me. Um, as of late, I have been tweeting about how Pokemon needs to be more blind accessible. Or, I guess it'd be more Nintendo than Pokemon. But, how they need to put a text-to-speech option in to the games, or to the system. It would probably work better on the system than it would just work with all games, like a toggle that you can turn on and off, like uh, the PlayStation and the Xbox have. Because it would definitely help people like me play more. Um, we could do a lot more without visual help. Um, like all our sighted peers can. My issue is the fact that a lot of people fire back with, oh hey, it's not cost effective. So Nintendo would never do it. And it's just like, Sony did it. Microsoft did it. People will be like, oh well, Sony and Microsoft did it because it was already implemented into their um, previous... Um, like software stuff that they were using before it crossed over to like PlayStation and Xbox and stuff like that. But cost effective or not, and honestly, I don't buy that. Not buy because it costs. Anyway, um, I don't buy that because of the fact that more people, you want more people to buy your games in your system so putting in something that helps other people would push more people to buy your games in your systems and it wouldn't hurt the sighted community because it's just a toggle that you can turn on and off at will like like i said uh the xbox and the um playstation both have them so it's not that big of a deal but it frustrates me because I understand sighted people don't necessarily understand what we go through, being visually impaired, flash wiggly blind, what have you, um, but my question to them is this, imagine that you couldn't play a game because, say, you couldn't I don't know, like say something was done to where either you couldn't see it or it was a game that had no visuals, something like that. Um, like say it was a game in Braille or something. I know that's a terrible example, but I'm trying to think of an example here. But think of it that way. And a lot of people are like, well, stuff doesn't need to be uh, accessible for everybody. Um... I will give you that to an extent, like cars. That's not something that's going to change until um, they make drivable dr cars that drive themselves, which is in the process, but still. I mean, saying that something shouldn't be... It's like saying that, oh, well, we're in the real world. That doesn't mean everything has to be accessible to everybody. No. I get that there's some things that we can't do. That's fine. But telling someone, oh, hey, this doesn't have to be accessible... No, that's not how that works. I mean, I'm sorry, but the fact that you think, oh, because we're blind or visual impaired, we, we shouldn't have the opportunity to experience all the things that you people as sighted do, that's not fair. I don't agree with it. Like, honestly, I feel, as a content creator, there's a lot of stuff that I am being held back from as a content creator um, because of the fact that unfortunately there's a lot of things that I can't do because I can't see this or I can't see that. For example, um, on Twitter, on Facebook, stuff like that, there's an option to um, basically add a text to your pictures, but not everybody does that 
So, for example, um, there was a thing. I posted, um, my friend A-Drive, you guys know him, got a sponsorship um, with Cartoon Network, which is great. And I'm really happy for him. He's a great friend. He's a great content creator. He deserves all the blessings he gets. But my issue is, I tried to go to the site. Uh, I downloaded the app, and unfortunately, the app does not work um, with my iPhone. Like, it doesn't work with my screen reader. So it means I can't participate in what they're doing, which sucks for me. And I know, like, a lot of blind people don't necessarily tune into Twitch, but if they did and they tried to do it, they wouldn't be able to either. So, yeah, that's another issue. And then I tweeted at uh, him and Cartoon Network and a couple other people about my issue, and they tweeted back a picture. It was either a picture or a GIF or something. But either way, my phone, once again, it's a image of some sort, so my phone doesn't read that. So, once again, I'm at a standstill. And people don't understand the issues that being blind and visually impaired we go through with, like, stuff that we want to do. Like, heck, I want to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't have a Switch yet, but as soon as I get a Switch, um, we'll see. But, um, I feel that there are going to be some things I can't do, once again, because of my visual impairment. Like with the older games, there were some things I couldn't do, like, um, I couldn't read, like, the screen, like, say a trainer said something like, hey, you gotta go do this or whatever, I couldn't read that, um, on Twitch, I would always have my, uh, moderators reading the screen for me, because there's a lot of stuff I couldn't do. And, being visually impaired, I love my moderators, they're great, you guys are awesome, I just wish there was a lot more I could do on my own, if you guys understand. Um, but I guess that's just a little bit of my thoughts on that. Um, I guess feel free to like, comment, subscribe, comment with your ideas, comment some stuff. I have been, I talked to Nintendo last week. I suggested the option of the text to speech. I suggested it again today. Um, I will probably keep suggesting it until something is done. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook, and I will talk to you guys later. God bless you guys, stay safe, and uh, peace! Bye! And I'll have Ash play us out. Later! You're listening to Saiyan 4414. Feel free to subscribe or listen to this again. <laughs>